everyone. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my new closet tour. I am so excited to be sharing this video with you guys. This has been kind of my favorite project in the new house so far. For those of you that don't know, we moved a couple weeks ago. And I knew this was like the first thing that I wanted to get set up because obviously I wanted to get back into filming. I knew I wanted my filming area to be in here. Um, and it makes sense because my filming area is kind of like where I do my makeup as well. So um, I like everything to kind of be in one place. I've gotten tons of questions on how we did this. We did it ourselves. And it was definitely affordable for an area this large. If any of you have ever tried to price a custom closet, you know that they can get very pricey. Especially ones that look like that that are kind of like built in. Everything's from Ikea, from the things that we repurposed from the old place, um, some office furniture that kind of doubles as purse storage. I can't wait to show you that. I'm also going to show you my makeup area and all this where I film, although it's kind of a hot mess. I kind of focused on all that first. Um, and then I'll show you an outfit of the day at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so when you come in, this is what it looks like. Most of the clothes are over here. Um, kind of back up so you can see all that. Um, these are the pack system from Ikea, all of these that look built in. You basically buy the case, and then you buy like the rods or the um, or the shelves or whatever you want to put in there. Um, you can even do like little half rods. It's just a really nice system, and it was very affordable. They come in different sizes and everything. You just have to kind of measure for your space. So you can kind of see we have two larger ones, a corner one, which I think kind of pulls it all together, and then another larger one, so three large ones in a corner. Um, they're very tall. They're almost to the ceiling. I'll give you an overview before I kind of show you specific things. Um, if you'll notice, these are my um, office cabinets from the last house, which work really, really great as a purse cabinet. Um, I love that so much. Keeps them from getting dusty and everything. Um, over here, I just have like some folded items, um, some sweaters, some scarves. I like having my scarves like this because I feel like I can really see them a lot better. And then over here, I have some shorts and, uh, yeah, pants. <laughs> yeah, jeans, pants, shorts, all that. Um, some things that are folded up at the top, some shoe boxes, things like that. Um, right here, this is what I was talking about, isn't very organized yet. Um, I need to kind of like organize my tops by color. I have always not always, but recently started kind of mixing all of my tops together. Um, I put my sleeveless ones and my tanks and stuff down there. Um, some sleeveless ones are up here that are a little nicer, but, um, but I kind of mix them all together. Um, really heavy things like sweaters or jackets I put different places. Um, you saw a few sweaters over there. I really don't have a lot of sweaters, sweaters that need to be like actually folded. Um, and then I put my flats right there. Um, I think when I say I'm going to organize this, I mean I'm just going to do it kind of by color and type. Um, I've got my tanks and my, my like, vests, uh, jackets, like denim jackets and some cardigans, um, things like that. My shoes. These hold a ton of shoes and they're so deep, the cabinets are, that you could even put... Um, a row of shoes behind it. You can kind of see, um, where are they? I've got my tennis shoes behind those. And then I'm wearing the ones in that little empty slot. My boots, you can kind of see I have two different rows of boots in there as well. Um, I use those little boot trees. You can get those at Bed Bath & Beyond. They just keep your boots uh, standing up straight. Um, right there I have like some skirts and some blazers, which need to go up top. Up here I have blazers and stuff. These are organized. And I have like some little black and white tanks. If you guys are like me, I don't know, I'm like obsessed with these from Target that are just those little like plain tanks. And I wear them literally with almost everything. Um, I have some belts in there that are kind of larger. Um, I'll show you what I do with my other belts in a moment. Um, pants that need to be hung, like nicer leggings or anything like that. Then I have some dresses, longer things. And then I did like a little half rod like that with... Um, some nicer like dress pants and then I just have like some sweats and some Lululemon things over there. Um, some sandals on the bottom and some more dresses that are a little shorter that are hanging above that part. I have my little lady from Pottery Barn Kids I think. I've had this for a very long time. And while I like to put necklaces on her, I really like to put belts as well. Like you can really see all of your belts really nicely. A lot of these belts are from Forever 21. Um, my leopard one, these two, this one, um, so many are from Forever 21, this one. They're just so cheap. They have the best belts for the price. Um, the neon one is from Madewell. This one's from J. Crew. That one's from Express. 
um, J. Crew and Club Monaco. Then over to the left, I have my filming area. I'm warning you again, it's a hot mess. I have not even touched this other than putting the furniture in there and putting my makeup in there. I know I'm hesitating, but here it is. Um, I'll do that more in detail later, <laughs> but it's kind of messy uh, right now. Um, this is my um, Alex storage cabinets from Ikea. I put them exactly together like I did before. Um, not together, but um, with makeup. Like the makeup's organized exactly as it was. I literally took a picture of every drawer in order before I moved and put everything back exactly like it was. So if you want to see the organization, I will link to that below. Put my fragrances in here, my necklaces, a little mirror. Hello. And over here I have my uh, jewelry armoire from uh, Pier 1. I was going to say Pottery Barn. Um, this other little thing from Z Gallery that holds different jewelry and watches and things like that. It's really cute. Um, I really never use this part that flips up. It just has a lot of older stuff in it, so that works. There it is. I'm going to tell you exactly the names of all of these pieces of furniture um, in my blog. So you can definitely link on over there. I will have a post up and ready with everything that's more specific so that you can kind of read about it. Um, the little rug, if you're curious, I got from Overstock. Uh, Waylon loves it. He loves rubbing his face all over it, which is not always good. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will do a quick outfit of the day. So I am so not sure what happened in my last video. I edited out the end part where I was showing my pants. I don't, I just, I have no idea how that happened. Um, alright, so I've got my Jennifer Zuner monogram initial pendant which I really love. My favorite top as of late from Club Monaco. I want to get these in like every color. They're just so soft and flowy. Um, my pants are from Seven for All Mankind. I got them last year. They have um, a little zipper detail at the bottom and my shoes are Tory Burch. I love these so much. Um, get a better shot of them like that. My bracelet from Henry Bindle, my bracelets from, well the big bracelets Henry Bindle, my smaller ones are from my friend Lorraine's website which is the currentcustom.com. I always link to her stuff in my more info and then my earrings are my spotlight hoops from Henry Bindle. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I loved showing you around. I hope that you liked it and that you're as excited as I am to kind of get a different like change of scenery back there. Um, yeah, when I get my makeup filming area all done, because like I said, it is a hot mess. I may paint that little nook a color and, um, I don't know. I have like some organization ideas that I'm going to do. Um, I will do another poster video on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.